Hi all, Fuzzy Barbarian here. On May 2nd, Neo's Dragon of the North DLC will drop. As yet, we don't have any gameplay footage, but Team Ninja has released a bunch of high resolution images to whet our appetites. So I went ahead and compiled them into an easy to watch video for your viewing pleasure. While the images run, I can give you a little bit more info about what to expect from the DLC. The story will take place in the Oshu region, where the main enemy is the ruthless Lord Masamune Dite, also known as the One-Eyed Dragon. In typical Neo style, he's a character based on a real historical figure who ruled the Sendai feudal domain about 400 years ago. Within this new region, there are apparently 10 new missions, including some boss rushes. Now, I don't know if the boss rushes are included in the 10, or if they're on top of them as the clarification of that was kind of lost in translation, but I'm guessing they're included based on the way previous regions have been structured. Many, if not all of them, are said to be of a high difficulty level. The DLC also introduces some new guardian spirits, new armor, new ninja skills, new magic skills, a variety of new yokai, and that big ass new blade weapon we're going to kill them all with, which is called the Adachi. In real life, the Adachi was so big that often samurai would carry it by hand, sheathed and use a helper to draw it. I don't think we'll have other players to help us draw it though. Pity, that would be pretty funny. Speaking of other people, you probably already knew PvP was coming. What you might not have known is that if you want to play PvP, you're going to need a PS Plus subscription. Not surprising really, but now it's official. Also official is the news that we'll finally be able to transform William into female characters, which is definitely a feature a lot of people have wanted. The price of the DLC is about $10, depending on your region, though you can get the Season Pass for anything from $19.99 upwards, again depending on your region. In Australia the Season Pass is $37.95, but really if the content is good that's likely a pretty cheap price, considering it covers three DLCs. Dragon of the North, this one, is the first, Defiant Honor is the second, which is the winter campaign for the Siege of Osaka, and the third one is Bloodshed's End, which is the summer campaign that brings the Siege of Osaka to an end. So if I were to guess, I'd be thinking the three DLCs are going to introduce a combined three new regions at a minimum. Since the season pass is less than half the price of the game, I'd say that seems like it's pretty much on par with what we got from the full priced game. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. I'll let you watch the rest of this in peace. So bye for now and enjoy the images.